Hey, what's going on goalkeepers and welcome back to Pro Clubs Goalkeeper Tips. So before I get into the topic of this video, guys, I'm going to be leaving a poll in the top right-hand corner of the video right now for you guys. What do you want to see next week? Do you want to see a more in-depth video on 1v1 situations? Or would you prefer to uh, have a video on how to deal with sweaties? Please do vote on the poll in the top right-hand corner. You should be able to see it right now. If not, then please just leave it in the comment section down below and then everybody just thumbs up each other's comments so I can see it easier. I would appreciate that. So today I'm going to be covering the basics on how to come out in a 1v1 situation and challenge the striker. So there's two ways you can really deal with a 1v1 situation. The first one being just coming off your line slightly and trying to juke the striker into shooting. They do work really well. That's what I tend to do most of the time, especially when you play like div division clubs, like, like you know, when you play normal pro clubs and you search for games. VFL, it might not work so much, but definitely for divisions, it works really well. Like if you come out off your line a tiny bit and you challenge that striker, normally they will just shoot and they will bottle their shot because they see you coming the little bit and they th they'll feel the, feel the need to just shoot and panic. And it does work really well. So I would recommend that guy. If you're in a 1v1 situation, come off your line to about the 6 yard line and then just basically hold your position, prepare yourself for the shot and then make the save. Because if you if you move all the way and then try to save it, you won't be able to get the save because you, you just come out too far. And whilst you're moving, your reactions are slower to try and get down to the shot. So I wouldn't really recommend coming out all the way and then just diving. Unless you can make it to their feet before they get the shot away, which is a whole different thing. Another way you could deal with it is if they do an LBY ball over the top. Sometimes you can get to the ball before they can. Like Obviously if you want to play a sweeper keeper use the acceleration and the sprint speed trait they work really well i do that quite a lot they're two traits that i have all the time if you can get to the ball get out to them and they just challenge them outside the box using x to either slide tackle the ball away or using b you obviously got to take a touch because it doesn't let you kick a first time but using b to actually kick the ball away into a safety sometimes as well like you might see in some of my videos that i do skill some people like, it's good to be good on the ball and be confident on the ball if you're a goalkeeper, especially on this FIFA if you're going to play sweeper keeper. Be confident on the ball. Don't don't come out for the ball if you're just going to then run it into them or pass it short to them. Be confident on it. Do a skill or two to take it around them if you, if you are. And then just kick the ball away. Another way, like I said before, like if you come out a tiny bit in the box, make sure you only stick to the six yard box. You can come out a little bit further. If he then does a touch or something to try and take it around you, you can just hold Y and then catch it and just meet him at his feet. Like I did used to preach on FIFA 16 that using B in a 1v1 situation when you're right at their feet works really well because you kind of just dive at their feet and push it away. It does still kind of work, but I, I haven't really tested it out fully to kind of give you guys the thumbs up on if that one's a good one or not. Like I don't want to say it is, and if it's not, then you know people complain that it's not exactly the best idea. So anyway, guys, hopefully that quick, brief 1v1 introduction kind of helped you guys. I don't want to do everything about 1v1s in one video because obviously I want to spread the content out for you. But let me know if you want to see an in-depth version next week. I'll do a step-by-step -step breakdown for you. And I'll get a clip or two and I'll just slow it down. I'll pause it and whatnot. And I'll show you guys what I'm thinking in that 1v1 situation. Uh, it might be quite a good way to do it. I used to do a series called Thinking Like Rixie. It'll be a bit like that if you guys have ever watched that. Then if you haven't, go back and check it out on my channel now. You can kind of see that I do a step-by-step -step breakdown. It works really well. But let's get to the Q&A section of the video. Kami1884. Five says the biggest problem for me is parrying. How can I solve this? I'm afraid you can't. Like parrying is one of the most infuriating things on this FIFA. Like it is so stupid. I don't know what they're thinking when they're making the mechanics of goalkeeping on this game, but so many goals are conceded by people parrying it back into danger zones, and it's just stupid. Like why would you make a save right back into the striker's feet? Like how would EA thought that was going to be a good idea for an animation? Hopefully they sort it, but I don't see they will do. So there's not really much you can do about parrying it. It's going to hope there's a defender there to clear it away. Oli Bet says, Hi, I was always wondering how do you catch slash pick up the ball due to sometimes the ball going through my legs. Can you help? All you got to do is hold forward on the right stick. That's all you got to do. Hold forward. Goals HQ said, How do you like the new patch as a whole to the game, Rixie? I feel like the game's been slowed down a lot. It's lost its flu uh, like how fluent it is in the game now. Goalkeeping, I don't know. It feels a bit more sloppy now. I'm not sure. It feels a bit slower. It's not exactly what I was hoping for. I really loved the game at the beginning. It really worked really well. I played well. It felt amazing. I'm not sure what they've done to it, but it doesn't, doesn't exactly feel amazing. But it's still still a decent game, neither way. But like, I just wish they haven't touched the game. Chrissy J says, how do you get up quickly from a save? And as I know yet, there isn't actually a way to get up quickly. But I do know the problem of when you try to get up, your goalkeeper just runs off. Let me know if you guys have that problem as well. Like, I, I get that sometimes. Like, my goalie would just run off after making a save. It's pretty weird. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the pitch.